So, last night I was sleeping peacefully without a care in the world when it hit me. Recently, I've seen a few videos of Unity enjoyers using the first version of Unity to create a game, while in reality it was just Unity 3 because that was the oldest version you can find on Unity Hub. So I scraped the internet and I found it. Unity 2.5. I actually found it and I just kind of forgot about it. Anyways, I will just make the most garbage thing, you can't even call it a game, and then, to make things more interesting, we're gonna load the project in the latest version of Unity, which is Unity 6, and we'll see if it's even playable, if it'll even load. Initially, I wanted to install the program on my main PC, but then I realized, I can't comprehend the technical marvel that this masterpiece has if I don't use it in its time. So what did I do? I installed Windows 98. Now I wish I could say that this is nostalgia, but the first OS I had was Windows 7. This is trash, I don't even know how you could use this. A drag and drop probably, alright, and... Uh, uh, yeah, that had to be expected. As you might have guessed it, I had to install another operating system for my Unity game, and of course I chose the obvious... Windows XP. The first step of the installation was pretty similar to the one on Windows 98 and this time, as the installer said, it worked without complaining. Ok, so at first glance if we ignore the welcome to Unity window, this is extremely similar to the Unity we have now except for the diabolical layout order. It also looks like it's very capable for creating an actual game, so let's hit play. What the hell, bro? How many seagulls are there on the island and the sensitivity is way too high? Actually, this might be the virtual machine fault. So, new project it is. I decided that I want to do a simple ball game in which you have to make the enemy fall into the lava in order to win. Pretty basic stuff, right? If your answer was yes, you'd be wrong. First of all, there's no add component button, most of the buttons don't even work and what? Ok, I understand javascript since it was used until 2017 when I got rid of it. But boo script? What? Is this supposed to scare me? Do they even know who I am? I am the... So I'm gonna start with the player movement and yes, this is the IDE for Unity 2.5. It's not like I was searching for half an hour how to add a dark mode to it. And here you have to add the component at runtime apparently, and it's also painful because there's no auto completion or even to show me any errors. Like, I find out about them in Unity when I click play and it says, Input key spacebar is unknown. Apart from that, I managed to make the player move using character controller because Richard Bundy doesn't exist yet. Spoiler, it does, but I'm just stupid. If you've made it this far into the video, congrats. You wasted 3 minutes and 40 seconds watching this. Now before you click off, make sure to leave a like and a subscribe. And one more thing, if by the end of this year you get this channel to a thousand subscribers, I'll make my own game engine. Alright, now that you accepted the terms and conditions of this agreement, you can watch this video where I create my own AI, or this one where I make my multiplayer game that can be stopped at any time, but only after you finish watching this one. Alright, back to the video. I got pretty curious at how a build would look like and... Oh, looks like the splash screen was here from the beginning, but this is new. And I'm so glad that this is not here anymore. Just imagine, half of the mobile games to have this abomination display for 5 seconds every time you boot the game. Like, this is wild. For some reason it prefers Windows 11 because here's what happens when I run the game in Windows XP. Yeah. Next up, I wanted to see how Unity 6 will treat old scripts, so I created a JavaScript script and a boo script, where it just logs out to the console a message. They surprisingly work. Apparently, at this stage of development, the Unity engine still didn't have an AA solution, which means you had to create your own. The concept behind A-star pathfinding is not really that complicated, but I don't need that. 
I can make an AI by simply adding force in the direction of the player, and that's it. Now we have two balls. Pause. Now we have a player and the enemy, making a complete game. You can also win by just making the enemy fall in the lava. It's time to open the project in Unity 6. So, as expected, it doesn't even want to open in normal mode because there are compiler errors, but we are professionals here, so we don't care. Now that it finally opened for the moment of truth, this pink is lovely. I wonder who did this. So the materials just stopped working, the old scripts are detected as unknown files, and this random script uses functions that are so old, not even Unity knows about them anymore. Apart from that, after fixing everything up except for the UI, it works out of the box. And you know what's even crazy? I'm not done. While browsing the old Unity menus, I came to the realization that this version supports importing assets. So I'm thinking, what if I export an asset from Unity 6 and import it into Unity 2? What it will happen? Nothing. It just refuses to load it and yaps about metafiles. Another interesting thing that is worth mentioning is that the file size increased dramatically after opening the project in Unity 6. Just imagine running Unity 6 on Windows XP, that would literally make the computer go 